right, welcome to another My Two Good Hands video. At My Two Good Hands, we're going to show you easy things you can do to save yourself some money on projects. So, we're on our boat, and uh, we had an interesting thing. The uh, GPS has got a voltmeter with it, and it bounces around between like 11.9 and 14. And so, we're thinking something's going on with the alternator. So, instead of breaking down on the water, we bought ourselves a new alternator. I'm going to show you how to put an alternator in your boat. So, what we're going to do is just start out and show you what you better do electrically before you work on this project, before you get zapped. So, uh, and maybe wreck the new part. So, let's sit down and uh, go through it. First thing you want to make sure you don't want to be charging that battery anymore. So, line one is my battery charger, and you saw that needle drop, so we are off. You also see as a safeguard, we got a battery charger we can turn off and receptacles we can turn off there. Uh, we can let the air conditioner run that's on another circuit. Uh, so now what we're going to do is go unhook our batteries. So let's take it to the bilge. A lot of ways to do this. You got a negative over there we can unhook. We got negatives over here we can unhook. Or turn the battery switch here to the off mode all the way down here. The problem with this is we don't know what it uh, shuts everything off because we do know that bilge pump stays hot even when the battery switches off so what we have to watch for is that orange lead there is always hot on this alternator so we are going to unhook that ground wire and these ground wires uh, so let's get to it be careful not to touch your wrench across two terminals Not back on here so I don't lose it. So, batteries are unhooked. Before you start, it's good to compare this alternator, the new one, to the old one. Make sure it's the right stuff. Uh, and we have done that. And uh, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start by loosening the belt right here. You loosen this nut and turn this one to lower this check your belt tension you can kind of see I can kind of push it all the way down there so we can uh, retention that this tensioner moves up and down you can see that gear on the back so how that works is you turn the little nut and the gear goes up and down so let's get that loose that's a 5 8 bolt now when you tension this it's a little different because you'll have to use a wrench on here but to loosen it you can put a socket on it just like this that goes down piece of cake. Uh, when you turn this is how you get it up and down. So you put a wrench on here. You turn this, see how it tensions as it goes up and down. Then I'll need a wrench to tighten that to snug it. So there we go, we're down. Kind of take a look at what this looks like so you don't have a problem putting it back on. In my case I'm just going to push this down and uh, pull it off. So just pull this off the alternator up here or pull it off this pulley wheel give us some space take it off the alternator we put it back through there we'll just kind of tuck this down so we kind of know how it goes no need to take any of that off one of the first things we want to do is unhook the alternator lift up this little tab that unplugs easy uh, move this boot back you can see you got two nuts here to turn got to get the uh, proper wrench could be this one Again, maybe not. 10 millimeter. And then you got this one down here. That we may or may not be able to get into. We might have to go get a wrench. Looks like we have to go get a 10 millimeter wrench for that. Put your 10 millimeter wrench on here and get this loose. See how that kind of whole thing wants to turn there. That's not good. We gotta get something in there. To... Oh, let's see if we can get in there with that. There we go. This is the ground. It's down underneath here. You can't see it in the picture. Nope. Get 
our wires off, get our wire harness out of the way. Put our tank There's a bolt in the front. Looks like there's a nut in the back side of that. So uh, we gotta get a wrench on the back side. Track of your washers. And your nuts. So the forward one we'll put on the forward side of this tank. That big head of that ratchet won't get in there. We've got this. Let me try this one here. Let's see. way pull it around the uh, around the alternator and back on the idler like that so we're ready to tension the belt so gotta remember how to put these on remember the ground was down here we can put the ground down first here just because it's down low pretty good got an extra nut so we're just gonna put the extra nut on the ground why not doesn't hurt anything good place to keep it okay next one we got to get this positive wire on bring this nut up make sure you don't turn the inner nut when you tighten this one because that could damage the alternator if that spins. Oh. It's going to be too tight, just good and snug. Get your little booty back up there. Get our booty on. Fits better now than it did before. Then you got to plug this wire in. Boop. There you go. Alternator's in. Now we have to tighten this. We tighten this. You gotta remember you gotta tighten this with a wrench, alright? So we're gonna get that wrench ready. Put this wrench on. Oh, wrong one. Remember how you can push this, so you just gotta. You don't want it too tight. Right about there. I'm gonna put this on here and tighten this up so it doesn't go back the other way. 
once you get that reasonably snug, you can put your wrench on there with your ratchet. Make sure you got it tight. That's good and tight. All right. Alternators in. One less step. Double check all your belt. Make sure it's in all the tracks. Double check the tension about the same. Uh, we are. Uh, next part of your activities is hook your batteries back up. Running good, sounding good. But we'll uh, turn the bilge blower on and close this hatch. And we got a steady 13 now on the voltage, so uh, 13 and a half. Well, it looks like we got pretty good there. There we go, 13 and a half. Drops down a little at low RPM, but that's fine. But see, before when we were right here like this, at 13, it'd be going 13, 12, 14, jumping all over the place. So there you go, looks like we got a winner. So there you go, easy project from My Two Good Hands. Don't forget to like and subscribe to My Two Good Hands. We uh, will have more videos for you. Catch you in the next one. Saves a lot of money doing this. The alternator was $120. And uh, it probably took me with gathering tools and everything about an hour. Uh, maybe a little longer because I didn't move the camera and that sort of thing. But once you learn how to do this, it's easy. We got a fresh one. We know the other one works. So we will be carrying it in the boat as a spare. We always have enough tools. So we could always, if we were out somewhere and needed to change it, we could change back to the old one. If you change your parts before they totally fail, they're usable as spares out on the river, out on the road, you name it. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video.